Tomorrow morning, a Denton County jury will begin hearing the sentencing phase in the murder conviction of a former Denton police detective. The road to justice for Robert Bobby Lozano has been a strange winding path, and tonight we take a look back at his two-week trial. We, the jury, find the defendant, Robert Cruz Lozano, guilty of the offense of murder as alleged in the indictment. Friday's verdict was more than seven years in the making. Robert Lozano's wife, Vicki, was found shot to death in her bedroom with his service revolver in July of 2002. Initially, he told investigators she shot herself while cleaning the weapon, but at trial, his attorneys tried to convince the jury it was suicide. There were tears all around at the reading of the verdict from Lozano's family members and with Vicky's friends. Yes, I'm so glad that it's a guilty verdict. You know, I've known all along that he was guilty, but, you know, she doesn't get a do-over. You know, it's to let bring her back. Unusual does not begin to adequately describe the case or the trial. At one point, a king-size bed was brought in with the bloody sheets and pillows from the murder scene. Defense attorney Rick Hagan and prosecutor Carrie Peel took turns rolling on the bed with a pistol in hand as they demonstrated for the jury competing theories of suicide and murder. Former DA Bruce Isaacs also took the witness stand. He'd had the original murder case dropped in 2004, testifying there'd been an ME's report that called it suicide. But no such report could be found. No one else in the DA's office had seen it, and the pathologist who did the autopsy maintained the cause of death was always undetermined. In fact, if not for the local newspaper, Isaac's decision to drop the case might have ended it. Only when the Record Chronicle got access to original police files and reported on them in September of 2008, did new DA Paul Johnson take it back to a grand jury and try the difficult case. Going into it, it was, it was always a question um, because it was a circumstantial case, because of all the uh, intricacies in, in what had happened previously in the case. Um, not having family members on our side to help give us some information, um, it just made it a very difficult trial. That may have been the strangest twist of all. The murdered woman's mother, Anna Ferris, still living in the house where Vicki was murdered, with Bobby and his new wife. She testified she thought Bobby was innocent, that he'd actually saved her daughter's life by helping her lose weight. In closing arguments, both prosecutors and defense attorneys portrayed Bobby Lozano as a man who lied to and cheated on his wife with numerous women. But defense attorney Hagan reminded jurors that beyond a reasonable doubt was the standard that must apply, a burden the prosecution, he said, had not met. Prosecutor Susan Peel delivered an impassioned closing argument in describing Vicki's death. She choked up at times, and jurors could be seen dabbing at tears. Now that guilt is established, a sentencing must be determined. So at this time, I'm going to order the jury to be back uh, Monday morning at 9 o'clock. The jury will decide Lozano's sentence. Prison time for murder ranges from five years to life. Probation is an option, but not a likely one.